What's up guys, it's me, Semi Mong, part of the Gay One crew, back again showing you how to get Taslan the Devourer. So if you click on Taslan, you can see he needs a Shadowbind Tome. Now, depending on your level, and depending on how much effort you have, there are four different places you can grind away to get this tome and to be honest with you you're better off actually going to the auction house if you're on my server anyway as they're only a gold at the moment so it's pretty much an easy tame for a gold if you're wanting to finish up your collection before the event ends to get some skin boxes but to get the tome there are four different places and two of them are within Brakar forest now the first one is obviously northern ruins once you get sent in that's where taslan is it's a solo instance but once you get sent in you have to kill kabimis there and they have a chance of dropping it if they don't you can obviously just leave and the quest will fail and once you go back in they would have respawned and you can just rinse and repeat that if you're on that quest line and want to get the mount early until the shadowbind tome drops okay now Failing that, say you've gone past that quest, you've already done it, they won't spawn in there. You can come up to the Braghin War Camp and actually farm away at the Braghin Shamans there. Now, I'm not sure on the drop rate. All I know is that the Braghin Shamans alone actually do drop the tome. So, if you're still a lower level and you still want to get the mount, say you haven't gone to the Hakanas Highlands or you're not max level, you're better off coming here. But if you've gone past this area, gone past this quest line, past this war camp, Go to the world map, go to Hakanus Highlands, you can actually come get it in a cemetery or Forlorn Ruins. So Forlorn Ruins is just like the Northern Ruins, okay? It's a quest line, you'll be sent in there. Once you're in there, Kabimus will spawn. And once you've gone past the quest line, they won't spawn. Now, if you've gone past that, and if you're level 25, you're better off coming to the cemetery because they're actually the elite priests there, so the the side prong i think it is or the topwoods prong has elite priests and elite mages so you can go there kill them and at level 25 you're actually better off going there rather than the war camp here in brakar forest or i'm in shimmerwood at the moment rather than the war camp here because actually they drop other parts to other recipes other marks windrunner etc they they're just better off farming at a high level and then say coming here and farming the brakar forest war shamans but if you're solely after shadow bind you're better off coming here to grind away the shamans because you can kill them quicker so it depends whether you're just after the shadow bind tome or you're after other stuff but those are the four places so you've got northern ruins the war camp shamans you've then got forlorn ruins so the northern ruins and forlorn ruins are questing areas and then you've got the cemetery but once you've got one all you've got to do is come back here to the northern ruins now Bearing in mind the Kabimis won't respawn here if you've done the quest line, but Taslan the Devourer will. So you can come back here, and I think actually two of him spawn. So if you want to get one as a pet, or say you want to get one as a mount, you can. I've actually got one as a mount, oh no, a pet, sorry, I did have one as a mount, but then I saw what his skills were, and just having him as a pet and being a priest is so much easier, it's so much better. But let's go over to the location, it's pretty linear, it, it just... It shows you the way you have to go. You just come round here, come out, and then he should be right around this corner. Be careful if you're a lower level of these uh, cobwebs, because they will slow you down, obviously. If you're being attacked, you can get slowed down and killed. And be careful of the little spiders, because they will kill you when you're taming him. But here is Taslan the Devourer. Unfortunately, I've not picked up another Shadowbind Tome, but this is his location. Now, if you go onto his stats on his pet, He's still got the same speed, so as a mount he will be level, like 7 move speed, but he's got high defense and high DPS, but the reason I turned him into a pet rather than a mount is because I want him to be fighting with me when I'm in dungeons for the pure fact that he's got a cooldown decrease of 10%, so spells that are now like, that were 2 seconds are now 1.8, say you've got a minute cooldown, that's only like, like 54 seconds, it's really useful. And then magic attack is increased by 14%. So it's actually boosted my standard attack Heaven's Hammer. The one that calls down a hammer from the sky from 1.6 thousand all the way up to 2,000. So it's really, really useful. Especially for solo questing or solo dungeoning. And let me just summon him up so you can have a look at him while he's say in pet form. Because there he is in pet form. Obviously when you're mounted you do sit like on his giant bobble back area. But guys, that has been Taslan the Devourer, in small and in big there. If you've enjoyed, be sure to leave that like down below. If you're going to go grab one for yourself, be sure to comment if you have. Say, did you have any good luck, any bad luck, and of course, any tips for other users trying to get Taslan. But until next time, guys, thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.